it is. Yeah. Did you just say locate your left arm? No, 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 I think you're watching it on TV so as a kid. They think, wow, this is good. These guys are running around with a rugby ball and running outside to go and play in the back garden and just pretending to be the England players. A little bit of an Irish jig there. It says, crossing and crossing your legs can also be made. I remember, first of all, watching my dad play rugby, dreaming of being there myself and living every second of it. I remember those memories now as if they were, they were yesterday. Did you ever think that one day you might be pulling on a white shirt for England? I hoped, yeah, definitely. I dreamt that I, I might get there myself. That first time you do get to pull on a jersey, I mean, that, what was it like for you? Mine was in the old changing rooms at Twickenham. You go in there, 15 white shirts, pristine, grab it and, and think, wow, better not let this down. I wonder what colour your blood will be, Jase. We're all blue, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I remember a game in 02, we were playing Australia, and suddenly they quickly got in the lead. As we got back in, the crowd just started to build. It just drove us on, and we, we came back and won the game in the last five minutes. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, very warm. It is warm, isn't it? <laughs> I remember talking to fans who spent their life savings coming to watch us. I've looked at massively at how can you give back. You know, I, I was never comfortable being the one that was always supported. I hated the fact that you guys did all the hard work, and then I kicked a goal, and everyone went, "Yeah." <laughs> we, we had <laughs> well, and, and then the headlines say, "Oh, he kicks a goal," and I'd be like, "Yeah," but it wouldn't. I've always wanted to you give. You never back. actually said that in public. No. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here it is, right now. When you're at that low moment, and we all have them. Your teammates get you through. I've always wanted to give back, and now I'm learning about how to support that massive team that was behind us. Be a link in a chain that's going to go somewhere fabulous for someone else. And giving blood is such a a great way to do that. When you know how fervent the England fans are and, and, and the passion that they do to support their rugby team, actually, with only 3% actively giving blood, you'd think that's a, a brilliant way to support your country. What a difference giving a bit of blood does, whether it takes 10, 15 minutes over here, what a difference that makes to someone's life. You don't know who's going to use it. God forbid it could be someone you know. At some point, you know, you're really going to make a difference and help out. Uh, my reason to bleed for England is that we are all one big team. Well, it's so easy to register, and why on earth not? Well, my reason for, for giving blood is because it saved my mate's wife. NHS Blood and Transplant need 100,000 new donors. We need people to support England, not only through their love of sport, but in a way that makes a real difference, in a way that really matters. Take the first step, register online at blood.co.uk. So do something amazing. Bleed for England. Give blood.